Okay, everybody, it is me, Gregory Manorino. It is still Monday, January 24th, 2022. All right, all of you who, uh, <laughs> what do you think of that? What do you think of today's action in the stock market? Let's talk about that. All right. At one time today, the Dow Jones Industrial Average was down 1,115 points. Well, we erased all of that to finish positive by 100 points in the green. As a matter of fact, all of the stock market indices finished higher. Before I even move forward here, Look at the video I did this morning, pre-market. I said to all of you, what I want to see is a big sell-off in the market. And why? People, look, I understand that there are a lot of so-called stock market experts here are writing laugh out loud at Greg when the market was down over a thousand points. I bet they wish they bought earlier like I did. I bought the banks. JP Morgan was down like over 3%, finished just about at the flat line. I made money today. Uh, I've been making money in this market. And if you've been following my work, so have you. This entire ride down, the entire thing, I have not wavered at all. I've been telling you to buy the dips. I said buy or die, as a matter of fact here. Look, I understand that there are a lot of so-called, uh, I don't know what these people are, who comment here, they, 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 like I said, they're, they have a day job and they should keep it and they do whatever they do and they, they also believe they're stock market experts and, you know, love to see uh, the market fall, whatever it might be. Oh, look, duh, Greg was wrong. Greg has not been wrong in this market for freaking years. Let me put a perspective on that for you real quick. Uh, so when Donald Trump, you remember this, became president... I said on Greg Hunter's show that this was a game changer and the market was going to vault higher. At that time, the Dow Jones Industrial Average was about 19,500. Well, look where we are today, okay? We've bought every single dip since that time, and frankly, we've lined our pockets with cash. You cannot make people do anything. You know, you can lead them to what you believe is going to happen, and they just... Again, they don't get it. Let me ask you, while we're on the topic here, let's say you walk into a, sh a store, you know, whatever it is, you, you, and, and you see something you want to buy. You know, I really would like that thing, but I think it's too expensive right now. I'm going to wait for it to go on sale. Uh, all of a sudden, it goes on sale, and you still don't want to buy what is that? You know, I, I, don't, I don't understand that. Look, people have been telling me since, again, I've been telling people to buy this market uh, for, for years. Oh, no, the stock market is too expensive. Oh, I wouldn't buy a stock, this stock here. Meanwhile, the stock's going up and up and up and up and up this market. Okay. Uh, these kind of people, again, they're lost. They, they, they have missed out on the biggest bull run in the history of the world, and it's not over. Okay, I know they, again, those so-called experts out here, they're going to be proven wrong again, as they always are. <laughs> Imagine having, really, a track record of being 100% wrong. And they still have the delusion that they're right or they're going to be right after being wrong 100% of the time. Make it up. I dare you to do it. You can't make this stuff up if you try to. So on, on the back of what really was a, an incredible turnaround in this market, again, have we capitulated? Let me explain this to you real quick. Uh, this is how markets work for the experts out here. They're going to make comments because they have no clue, but that's all right. I laugh at their comments and so should you. Me and my lions, we laugh our asses off right to the freaking bank. And we're going out buying cars, musical instruments, houses, putting pools in our backyards while these people are struggling. Look, that's what we're doing. Uh, and, you know, there's those experts out here consistently wrong. No, 100% of the time, they're always wrong. Anyway, what we've had here recently is a relatively slow bleed off in this market. Again, why? Markets, a lot of uncertainty here, trying to price in what the Fed's going to do this week. We have this uncertainty with Russia and Ukraine. We're now going to be deploying troops, probably. You know, Biden Stein just put a whole bunch of troops on alert here. Uh, the market doesn't like this stuff. 
But we've had this slow burn off here in the market. Uh, and now we had like what seemed to be like a toilet bowl flushing. You had like this 1,115 point drop in the Dow that all of a sudden got bought up. And now we finished positive. That may be, listen to my wording here, because people always twist this around, may be a sign of capitulation. And I said I wanted to see this earlier today. I said in the video that this morning, I said I'd like to see a big sell-off. Well, I got my wish, didn't I? And I bought all day long here in this market. Well, these people running, they're running in fear, sucking their thumbs. Let me show you what it looks like. <laughs> sucking their little pathetic thumbs. They don't know what they're looking at and they're gonna miss the boat yet again. They always do. This is why you see in life, there are two kinds of people. Those that are successful and those that will fail miserably. There's really no middle ground here. That's just how it is. And you will see, look at the comments in my last video and probably some in this one. The ones that will fail read their comments, the laugh out louds, the this and they don't know what they're looking at. They're imbeciles, literally, of the highest order. They think they're stock market experts because they're looking at the stock market like this. Let me show you. <laughs> Meanwhile, they're not looking at the drivers. Do you see a single red flag in the debt market? Yes, it's a freaking hyper bubble. But are you seeing any red flags going off here? Can your yield look scary to you? Yield curve looks scary to you? Dollar, Dixie, crude, where is the fear? It's in your own freaking mind. Honestly, if you're looking at this market and you think we're in some kind of crash mode because you got imbeciles calling for crashes every single month, every week. Oh, it's going to crash on this day and at this freaking hour because it says so here in the Bible. Duh. And then you got this other idiot out here and there's a bunch of them, not even in the market, but they're calling for crashes every day. You know why? They want views on their channel. That's all they want. They don't give a damn about you. You're nothing, you're a means to an end. Me, I legitimately care about every single one of you. Every one of you. And look, like I said, I can lead a horse to water. I cannot possibly make him drink. And what we saw today may, may be a capitulation. We're gonna see again, look, we have to hear from the Fed. We're gonna hear from the Fed Wednesday with regard to monetary policy. That's gonna drive this market. But again, will Greg Manorino really be looking at the stock market? No. I'm going to be looking at the debt market, the 10-year yield, the MMRI, link in the description of this video. What is crude oil doing? What's the relative strength of the dollar? All of this is going to drive the market, period, the end. I still believe that when the Fed announces whatever they're going to do, as long look, here's the deal. If the Fed chooses not to raise rates, this market's going to crater. Listen to what I'm telling you. If they do not raise rates, do not, the market's going to crater. If they say they're going to raise rates, because it's going to be an infinitesimal fraction of a thing, the market will more than likely rally. Let's see if I'm right. Um, I really believe that's true. Anyway, uh, with regard to cryptocurrencies, did you see that today? A massive turnaround. It's funny. I was about, and I didn't do it, okay? Uh, I was about to also pull the trigger on buying some more Bitcoin today. And then I looked back at it and it, it just, it went, it totally reversed. And I decided I'm going to hold off for now. If you did buy or if you're going to buy now, that would be fine too, in my view here. Uh, but, you know, look, I, I, I probably missed the boat today. All right. I, I was more focused on, uh, I bought a lot of banks today, more banks. Uh, I, I continue to believe in that space here. Did you see the turnaround, for example, on JP Morgan? It's epic, epic turnaround today. Uh, 10 year yield stable, like I said, Dixie, stronger relative strength of the dollar, while its absolute strength disappears. Uh, crude oil in the pressure, but we're still like in the mid 80s here with WTI. So, so anyway, with regard to this market, people, if you have been taking advantage of this, um, buying on the way down, you, you, you've done the right thing in my view here. Look, you can have gotten fancy and went short this market, and some of you probably did and have done very well. Some of you probably got caught on the wrong side of that today and got destroyed. I hate that. Or maybe you lost uh, all the gains you made because you thought the market was going to go lower. There's the problem. We're trying to pick tops and bottoms. I don't play that game. It's a loser's game, all right? Um, so anyway, with that said, people, come on, really. I can't wait to see the comments again, these imbeciles, these retarded idiots 
who think they know the market. They, I don't, because why? I don't know. I don't understand these people. I really don't. Like I said, they've been wrong 100% of the time. Uh, oh, I can't buy the stock market because it's overvalued at like 19000 uh, 20000 still. Oh, I can't buy the stock market there either. Oh, it's too too overvalued. $25, same thing. $27, oh, same thing. 30 still. You know, then we get a pullback. Oh, they still don't want to buy. They'll never buy because, again, these people let opportunity pass them by. And then they walk through their miserable lives wondering why people like me are driving a really nice fancy car, have a 4,500 square foot house in a pool that looks like uh, you, you can land a plane in it. You know, that that's me uh, because I know opportunity. I know where it is. You understand? But these people, they'll, con they'll consistently make the wrong decisions because they're afraid, because they're listening to the wrong people. And then, they again, they drive through a nice neighborhood and say, mm, I wonder what that guy or that girl does to afford a house like that. There's no big magic here, okay? There's nothing. It's just a matter of recognizing opportunity. That's all life is about recognizing opportunity when it shows its face. When something goes on sale, you buy it. You look at what's going on. Is the market, is the stock market a bubble? Yes, absolutely. In the words of our illustrious previous president, when he was inaugurated, Trump, when he was in the uh, campaign trail, stock market is a big, fat, ugly bubble, but he loved seeing it go higher. And he knew it would go higher, just as I did when he became president. I said, the market will vault higher. You don't believe me? Ex Greg Hunter, my, my old friend over there, okay, who's another one calling for a crash every other day. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up if you try to, people. Honest to God. So anyway, so uh, like I said, maybe. Maybe there's a capitulation here in this market, but we need to see what happens on Wednesday, okay? Uh, if you've been buying on the way down, good for you, all right? If you, if you missed out on it, it's, it's really not too late, in my opinion, to those stock market experts who, you know, constantly comment here, oh, look at Greg, he's wrong. Oh, look at this, duh. And look at this, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Make it up. But thank you for entertaining me. All of you who write to me for years, I've been telling me how wrong I am on the market. I've been right. You've been wrong 100% of the time. But you keep me entertained, and I, I want to thank you for that. Anyway, so on the, uh, on the economic front here, so what did we find out today? U.S. manufacturing, again, falls off of a cliff. U.S. services also falling off of a cliff. Our economy, people, is in free fall. It's in freaking free fall. I don't know another way to put it. I think you're well aware of that here. Let's talk a little further here, people. Um... We got a warning today. Here, here's my deal with this. Yet again, we got a warning from a Wall Street super bank. I'm talking about Morgan Stanley. How many warnings have you and I heard from this bank? Morgan Stanley has been warning on this market. I don't know. It seems like every other month over the, the last entire year. Meanwhile, last year, the S&P 500 put on more record highs than in history. So yes, we got another warning today from Morgan Stanley on the markets. Uh, how about ignore this one too? Just like I told you, ignore all the other ones. Look, these Wall Street super banks, they don't have your, your best interest in mind, but I really do. Whether you want to believe that or not, even the retards out here who hate me for whatever reason, I have their back. I'm trying to help these people. They can't help themselves. I'm surprised if they can even feed themselves. <laughs> they probably can't walk and chew gum at the same time. And they miss out over and over and over repeatedly, year after freaking year, and then they wonder why their lives suck. Explain that to me. Okay. I already told you about the rebound here with regard to uh, cryptocurrencies. It's pretty epic today, but nothing beat this market. Nothing beat that rebound. I mean, a hell of a lot of buying. Hell of a lot of buying. Um, let's see, people. What else? I have so much stuff here. I, want, I can't even address all this. It's, it's too much. I'm not even going to talk about that. Um, you know what? I'm not even going to talk about anything more. I, I have pages of, pages of stuff I was writing down. But, I, you know, look. I don't like it, honestly. I know a lot of you don't like it either when these videos are too damn long. What I want to do, or at least try, is to push points home with my videos, okay? I want all of us. How many times have you heard me say I want all of us to win? All of us. Not just the ones that, you know, like Greg Manorito, but even those that don't. 
I want, look, I welcome these people into the pride, my pride of lions and friends. But they can't stop. They can't help themselves. So how can I help them? That's the truth. I mean, most of these people probably, you know, they're, they're, they're just, they're so deluded. They don't know what they're looking at when it comes to the market. Show me where the instability is. Again, those of you out here who believe this is the big one, who believe that the market's going to crash, and this is literally it. The market is going to crash. There's no doubt about it. But it's not going to be, it's not going to begin in the stock market. It's going to begin in the debt market. How many times do we have to say that? How many times have I told you over the past, I don't know how many months, that this market needs a pullback? This market needs to correct how many times? And then finally we get one? And that's really it? You Are people out here, I know it's not you, but I just have to ask this general question. Are people out here that weak-minded? Do they honestly not see opportunity when it's in their freaking face? Doesn't seem so. And again, it's these same kind of people who try to bring everyone down with them. Oh, Greg's lions are idiots. Greg's leading them to the slaughter. Meanwhile, I've kept the people in this market since since Donald Trump became president. Let's just go back to there at down 19,000, okay? Telling you to buy, 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 buy. Have I been right? Yes. Have they been wrong? Yes, 100% of the time. Just like Bitcoin going to zero. Ain't happening, people. I'm sorry to tell you that. You want to stay in the dollar? Good for you. It's a dying asset. You should be bidding against the debt, becoming your own central bank, holding hard assets, and cryptos, as I've been telling you for the longest time. Like I said, I have no intention of selling mine. None. I don't trade cryptos. I don't trade precious metals. No. I trade the market, but I do it safely, okay? Let me say this, too, real quick. Never buy core positions, core positions that you want to own, okay, in companies that you don't want to own for the long haul. Let's say, for example, about something going on sale. You walk into a store, beautiful, nice pair of pants. Ah, you know what? It's too expensive. I'm going to wait for it to go on sale. Lovely. Okay. It goes on sale. Then maybe you take the plunge. Okay. But that's something you wanted to have. That, pe that pair of pants is going to be in your freaking wardrobe for years. Okay. Now, with regard to the stock market, same thing. Okay. I like to own large cap dividend paying stocks. I've told you all of this for freaking years. If in fact, let's say JP Morgan, I own a fair amount of JP Morgan stock. Okay. It's like 140 ish dollars. If in fact, JP Morgan would it crater, I don't know, to $99, what would I do? Would I dump it or would I say, hold on a minute, this is a company I'd like to own. I would go crazy and love to buy JP Morgan stock at $99. I don't think I'm ever going to be able to do that, but if I were, I'd be jumping in here, okay? But this is the difference between a winner and a loser. And I want you to be a winner. I know you are. If you've been with me for any length of time, you are a winner. You know how to play this market. I told you a million times, this channel is for well, winners. The losers can exit through the freaking back door. But please, some of you stay around so you can keep me entertained. So you can do your laugh out louds and your this and your that. And you're going to miss the boat again. And you're going to wonder why your life sucks. And why Greg Manorino has a freaking good life. <laughs> people, I love all of you. I really do. Um, even those people that uh, you know are going to probably make a negative comment here. Because they keep me happy. They make me laugh all day. I roll on the floor. Sometimes these comments that they give me are so freaking hilarious. I just crack up. I, I, I call my wife in the room. I'm like, look at this. And then she cracks up too. And, uh, you know, it's, it's too funny. So anyway, people, yes, that's it. That's the story. I don't know what else to say. I'll see all of you in the morning, and we will talk then. I'm out of here.